hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much as always if you're new to my channel please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and put on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first people to get any of my new upload thank you so much after watching this video don't forget to share like and comment Awesome, now that we're done with that, let's get cooking. Today we're making peanut butter soup or granola soup. I wanted to make sure I got my fish ready so it can bake slowly in the oven. So what I'm doing, I put some salt, a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick, and this is liquid smoke. Yes, that's the secret. I don't know where you live, but if you live where I live, catfish, dry catfish, smoked catfish is super expensive. So I try to make my own by getting fresh catfish, clean it, and then put seasoning, and then add liquid smoke to get that smoky flavor that we love about catfish so that's the tip of the day make your own catfish smoke catfish at home you save a lot of money and it tastes awesome so that's about two tablespoons of crayfish two tablespoons of um, tomato paste and then about two tablespoons of um, chicken soup base and then this is the Quintia and all that kind of Ethiopian pepper. Those are onion, one and a half, parsley. This is a um, tomato that I had. I was cooking before, so that's the leftover. Add the pepper, garlic, ginger, half a bell pepper, and then two tomatoes. This is about two cups of um, roasted peanut. This this is the brand I use. Adams, super awesome. I love it. And then of course my catfish that I smoked is ready as you can see it's in that it's right there and then assortment of ribs and soup bowl okay so that's what we're gonna use to make this delicious peanut butter soup At this point, I'm just blending the onion, garlic, ginger, and parsley to marinate the, the meat on the stove. Okay, so we're ready to rock and roll. So right now I'm just adding the meat in the pot. Then I'll pour on the beautiful concoction that I just blended so I can simmer and get the flavor all infused in the meat. And of course I'm putting all my seasoning at once. That looks so amazing, doesn't it? Adding in the tomato and the pepper so it can steam. So after 10 minutes of steaming, I checked on it, stir it, move things around, and get the seasoning evenly distributed. So that's what I'm doing. The tomatoes and the peppers are very well steamed, so I'm going to take it out blend it and put it back in there and cover and cook for another 10 minutes or so. Now it's time to end in the blended tomato and the pepper. While the first half of the soup is cooking away, I decided to get the peanut butter ready. Yes, there are different ways of making peanut butter soup. This is one of the ways I do it. Sometimes I steam the peanut butter after blending and all that. But sometimes I don't because the peanut butter I use is roasted. 
and it comes out perfect so i don't always steam it beforehand but do you and do whatever is comfortable for you at the end of the day it's the end result that matters and either way it's perfect and it tastes amazing It looks about ready and we're ready to end in the blended peanut butter look at it it's nice and smooth and creamy and that's the texture we're looking for so I rinse the blender out and then pour it back in then I cover and let it simmer away slowly after about 10 minutes or so I stir it to make sure the peanut butter is you know nice and smooth and very well mixed this is how it looks about half an hour later you can see that the oil is beginning to form so that means it's cooking well and yes try and clean out your pot it's very important it gets really messy but you know it, you have to make it appetizing so try and clean as often as possible look at it it's bubbling away now's the perfect time to add in the smoked catfish so we can simmer it down amazing guys I'm telling you try this smoked catfish and you will never buy adrenaline again adrenaline is ridiculously expensive gosh they're killing us over here so this frugal mama I make my own that's it guys it's ready and yeah don't forget to skim off the excess oil yes i do skim it off you don't always see me do it on video but i always skim off the excess oil it's very important this is just from the peanut butter okay it's very greasy we don't want to eat all that so skim off as much as possible and then get your bowl and your rice your fufu whatever and pasir barire brodie whatever you want to eat get it ready and let's have a meal look at that doesn't that look amazing oh super delicious that's the rice on the side i have a piece of rib i have some adrenaline and i was ready to eat this delicious bowl of goodness guys yum 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 <laughs> I'm gonna give you a better look by turning it around so you can see it. Oh, look it, look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. Wow. You see that pepper? If you like spicy food, you just mash it and then stir it in and get it more spicy. But this was just fine for me. Look it so creamy not too thick not too runny the perfect consistency for eating rice okay check it out check this yummy goodness out guys now is time for the best part of cooking taste test oh amazing i wish you can see my face on camera oh it was like oh my gosh did i really make that <laughs> it was just so amazing guys but well, thank you so much i hope you're gonna give it a try it came out amazing it's delicious and we enjoyed it do give it a try and let me know in the comment section below what you think about it it is amazing and i promise you okay thank you so much for coming along with me thank you for cooking with me i will see you again soon and don't forget to smile it doesn't matter what's going on see miracles in life every day bye guys